Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. My name is Mike. I am the Bowtie RN. As you probably saw from the thumbnail, I'm going to be using a bit of a special razor today. I've got the Gillette Made in England Psycho, the Psychotech. Um, if you don't know about this razor, there's no way to open it. Once it's there, there's nothing you can do except for look down in the center, all the way down inside there. That's where the key fits. You have to have a key to open this razor. That way, no one can get the blade. They used to use these in prisons as well as in um, mental facilities. So you had to get a key. Now this this happens to be a reproduction key. It's not the original key, but you have to use a key, slides up inside the razor, and then it can unlock the razor. The easiest way I found is go ahead and just turn it upside down. Once that's unscrewed, then the, the top cap comes right off. I'm not sure if you can quite see it, but um, Made in England. I don't know if it's going to focus. Either way, it's a Gillette Tech made in England. I'm going ahead and loading that up with a uh, King C Gillette three dots. To me, means it's a third use razor. I use the Sharpie dots that way I know which side and how many uses each razor's been on. Pop it in there, load it in there. And again, take the key back up inside. And it tightens it down. So now I've got to take that key out of there and there's no way to actually get to this razor blade. Um, it does kind of have exposed end tabs. So I guess if you really wanted to cut yourself, you really could, but I'm hoping not to cut myself today. All right, that's the razor I'm using today and the blade. I'll go ahead and use the Parasa White, my uh, pre-shave. I've been using the 3P lately, which I really, really like, but I figured I'd go ahead and give it a switch up today. Um, as far as soft, as far as brushes go, I've got my Yaki 24, got my lather whipped up nice, um, very thick and creamy, nice and shiny, nice sheen on it. And I went ahead and used the, um, the uh, Linea Intenso, the Bergamot. Nice soap, um, performs well for me. It's an Italian soap, has a nice base. I'm actually not even sure. I know it's not a vegan base, but Actually, this one, this one is a vegan base. So, um, very nice. I've uh, got everything set up. I'm gonna go ahead and get my face a little bit damp. I had a shower a little while ago, not too, too long ago, but I did wash my face real quick. Go ahead and get the hairs a little bit nice and softened up. Take that Paraso. Ooh, I definitely miss that scent. Very nice scent. Um, Get the green tea out of it. Maybe a hint of oatmeal, but not, not a lot, but really nice. Um, comfortable on the face. Smells great and adds quite a bit of protection there. I'm going on about two days worth of growth. So you can probably see coming through the, even just through the pre-shave, there's quite a bit there. I do have a fairly thick beard, so it does grow pretty quick and it gets a little bit rough on the blades. All right, rinse that hand off real quick, get, grab, that, grab that brush and take that lather to the face. I have no idea, because I've not used this razor before. I've used different Gillette Techs, both made in England and made in USA. So I'm not sure how many passes I'm gonna need for this, but we'll find out. So I do like the bowl lather. I'm doing a, a, I use a cold water lather. But as soon as I take the lather to my face, instead of just painting it on, I do like to work it in a little bit. So somewhere between a bowl lather and a face lather, it's somewhere in there. All right, got definitely enough soap on today. Feels good. Go ahead and take that. Uncover lips so I can see where that is. Don't want to cut the lips. That's never a fun thing. All right, we're gonna grab the razor. Like I said, the uh, Gillette Tech made in England. Get some nice cold water down on that blade. Get it set up. I do like to take my sideburns to the main mirror so I don't mess them up too much. Instead of using the viewfinder on the camera or the, actually my phone. First impression, not bad. Um, a little bit of blade feel. 
Definitely in the mild range. This one might be a three pass. This knife is not very, not very aggressive at all. Very mild, but um, the amount of growth they had on there, doing a good job. Well, rinses really well. Lather channels are up underneath. Um, rinses easily. Again, um, if you're new to wet shaving, hold that razor at about a 30 degree angle to your face. Very light touch. Don't try and power through it like back when I was using the cartridge razors. You really had to put quite a bit of pressure on your face in order to get a decent shave. That's a debatable decent shave. I never really did get a very good shave with one of those. Um, like I said, one of my previous videos, when I did, when I was using the uh, cartridge razor, back when I was in um, boot camp, I ended up having to shave about halfway through the day. I had to end up having to shave twice a day in order to pass inspection. And that definitely wasn't any fun. It wasn't fun, it was very scratchy on your face. And I think I was, I think I was using Mach 3 back then. I don't remember what I was using. It, was, it had multiple blades. It does fit up under the nose really easily. Fairly low profile as that goes. Not a lot of feedback, not a lot of audio feedback. I do prefer quite a bit of feedback because it lets me know if I've got the good angle and I'm still removing the whiskers or if I'm done. Sometimes after that second pass, that's it. All right, first pass done, kind of get the face wet and see how we did. Um, cheeks don't feel bad. Next, got quite a bit of work to do left. Don't look like today is going to be a three pass shave. Not bad though, I like shaving. Way, way better than a little cartridge shave. Never, never, never at all would I have said that I like shaving back when I was using a cartridge razor. For those of you that use cartridge razors, go for it. If it works for you, I got nothing against it. Just they don't work for me. These work really well. The DEs have been good for me. I actually just, um, I ordered a Feather SS. So the uh, the non-folding or the commissory style Artist Club Razor. That'll be coming, actually I think it gets here tomorrow. I don't plan on using it real soon as far as at least in videos. I'll probably use it off camera before I even consider using it on video, but hey, put in the comments if you want me to do my first shave with the shave vet on camera and we'll, enough people say it, I'll do it, why not? Speaking of putting stuff in the comments, you can also subscribe if you like. I plan to do a giveaway once I hit 150. I've got two Mercours, a long handle and a short handle as well as a uh, Gillette black tip, vintage black, Gillette black tip that I'm gonna offer up and we offer whoever wins, gets to choose which razor they want. I'll we'll probably throw in a couple tucks of blades. I got several blades. Got Persona blues um, and some Gillette platinums as well as RKs. And we'll see, we'll throw something in there. Keep it a little bit fun. All right. Doing good. Um, a little bit milder the second the second pass. Probably because I had so much so much growth that I was taking down. That 
first pass just had quite a bit more to go through. It's a relatively new blade. I mean, I only used the blade twice before today, so blades in good shape. King C Gillette, same thing as the uh, Gillette Platinum. Just had different branding on it. I guess they had to make this razor very, very mild in order to keep people from cutting themselves on purpose. Because even with even with the locking mechanism, a razor blade still can do some pretty good cutting. If it's a little more on the aggressive side. You can imagine taking one of these sterling stainless steels with the hyper aggressive plate. That would do some damage if you wanted it to. Never had the chance to try an R41. But from what I hear, it could do some pretty good damage too. So far a blood-free shave, I like it. Um, feels good, well, maybe there, I don't know. We'll see. Every time I say that I didn't get any cuts or nicks or weepers or anything, that's when I tend to get one. Just tell Mike, don't open your mouth, Mike. Just do the shave and stop talking about it. All right. A little bit of water. Um, cheeks, eh, little teeny tiny bit. Feel good though. A little bit on the neck of the normal spots right down in here. I'm gonna take care of that. That third pass. That face a little bit more damp. Might even go to one of those misters soon. I don't know. A lot of guys seem to use the misters. Seems to do a good job. What seems to do a good job for me is putting the lather on my glasses. I'm really good at that. I feel like the more I talk, the more lather I get up on my glasses. That's okay though. I can work without it. Who needs to see anyways? All right, let's go ahead and take off those glasses and finish out this shave where I can actually see. Can't see the grist the best, but why not? Do a blind shave. Blind shaves, stainless steel, ra stainless steel razor blades coming at your face. Not like that scary at all. Third pass against the grain. Feedback's pretty good on this one. I definitely hear. The, the blade, the blade's doing the job, razor's doing the job, not much left. Getting quieter, gotta love that. All right. Kind of toying with the idea of doing the ambidextrous shave, so. Doing one hand with my, one side with my right hand and the other with my left. Kind of just for fun and also, sorry, hold on. Also to prepare for that uh, Feather SS. Most guys that are using the straights or the non-folding straights tend to use both hands. So I'll be trying that too. Figured might as well go ahead and get used to doing both hands. I actually shoot pool left-handed. Throw darts left-handed. I can shoot either right or left-handed. I have to shoot with my left eye, but I can shoot right or left-handed. All right, go ahead and put a little lather on there and just kind of see if I missed anything. But 
little bit there, a little bit there. There it is, that's the angle. See, that feedback will help you out. Put the fingers on there, you can feel the whiskers, but then once you put the, the razor to your face, feedback tells you when it's engaging with the hair, you can go ahead and cut them off. All right, that looks good, guys. I think I'm looking at, uh, best I can tell without my glasses on, looks like about 15 minutes, so not too bad. Three passes, 15 minutes with quite a bit of talking. Rinse that off real fast. Take out, take out the old Allen block. No stings, no burns, not even any warm spots. Feels good. I rinse that off real quick. Yeah, I don't feel anything. All right. Anyways, I'm gonna go ahead and um, clean up. I'll probably finish off with one of my Clubman Panades. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm gonna to use today, but I wanna say thank you guys for visiting. Um, subscribe if you haven't already, I do appreciate that. And like I said, once we hit 150, we'll be setting out a, a, a giveaway for subscribers. Any questions, put them in the comments, any suggestions, or if you want me to go ahead and try that first shave with the, uh, the Feather SS without doing practice without camera. I'll do my first shave on camera next week, maybe. Let me know. Um, until then, have a good day, great shaves, and we'll see you next time.